If you've been thinking about starting a magazine, this is how to design a magazine cover. So if you're going to start a magazine, the one thing you're going to need to learn how to do is design. Now magazine design typically happens in one of two softwares, Adobe InDesign and Canva. Adobe InDesign is for a little bit more of an experienced designer, while Canva could not make it any easier to put together your magazine. So for today's video, I'm going to walk you through every single step of designing a magazine cover in Canva. Now, before we dive into the tutorial, I do want to mention that I recently started the most comprehensive course for starting a digital magazine, and it's called the Editor Academy. Inside the Editor Academy, I walk you through every step from choosing a niche and a name, all the way through planning content, designing, marketing, monetizing, everything you need to know about starting a magazine in seven weeks. So if you want to learn more, go ahead and check out the link inside the description box for your personal invitation into the Editor Academy. Okay, on to the video. Now, the first thing we're going to do when we're designing a magazine cover in Canva is we're going to navigate to canva.com. The next thing you're going to do is click create a design in the top right corner, and you're going to click custom size at the bottom. So magazine covers are typically size eight and a half by 11, and we wanna change the units to inches. Once you've done that, you can click create new design. It also populates under the suggested magazine cover. So you can click that and click create new design. It's going to open up a blank canvas, and this is what we're going to start with. So when you decide to design a magazine cover, it helps to have a little bit of inspiration. So I always recommend to look through magazines that you love, look through different types of designs for magazine covers, decide on one that you feel fits the vibe for your issue. So for the purpose of this video, I just typed in Vogue magazine covers, and we are going to go with this style of this magazine cover with Cara Delevingne. I am going to go back to my Canva document here, and the first thing we need to do is place our photo. So Canva Pro is something that I highly recommend if you're gonna be starting a magazine. They have a lot of great imagery to work with, and I'm going to pull in an imagery. I just typed in fashion in the search bar to see what we have to work with here. And I am going to pull in a photo for our cover. So let's see what we have here to work with. Sure, we can go with this one. We want to pull in a photo here that is fashion-y but not cheesy. So let's see what we have. I'm okay with this image. I don't know, I kind of like that green. Okay, so maybe we're gonna go with this image. I like the backdrop. I think the color will pop on here in terms of text, so let's stick with that. Once we've decided on our main photo, we're then going to drag in our logo. So I'm going to go back to my Canva document, and if you have a logo for your magazine already uploaded into Canva, go ahead and just drag it. I'm just gonna make one here, and we're gonna call this Mode. Our fictional magazine is Mode Magazine for today's video. So I've typed in Mode or you're going to drag your logo to the photo and resize it accordingly. So if I was to drag in a logo, let's just play with this. Here's my logo of the Editor Academy. I'm just going to drag the corners here to make it the size that I want. Drag it to place it where you like it. So again, if you're doing your own logo, that's what you're going to do to drop it on the photo. I am going to change the color of my logo up here. I'm going to double click. I'm going to click the A for text color here, and I'm going to change this to white so we can see it a little bit better. Now, one thing we're going to want to do because the logo is covering her face, we are going to want to bring her in front of the logo. So an easy way to do this is to just drag that photo or place it on top of this image that we have right here. So one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click Command C to copy and Command B to paste. I'm just gonna paste it right back over top of this one and I'm going to click edit image up here. And this is why Canva Pro is worth every single penny that you pay for it just for this. So when you wanted to remove backgrounds prior to Canva in Photoshop, it could be so time consuming. So this is why Canva is worth every single penny. You just click edit image and background remover, BG remover right here in the top left. So I'm gonna click that. 
and look what it did. It just placed her right on top of that logo. So I'm gonna drag this now just to make sure that she is lined up perfectly here. There we go. And now she is placed perfectly over top of our logo. So that is the easiest way to, so now that we have our logo in Canva, the next thing we need to do is add our headlines. So I'm gonna go back to this Vogue inspiration photo here and it looks like they have a quote, her name, and then the name of the story. So we are going to come over here into Canva and find a sans serif font that kind of looks like that. So I'm going to click add a heading and I'm gonna drag this a little smaller here and let's look through. If you type sans serif into the search box in font, then it will bring up all of the sans serif fonts in Canva. So Canva could not make it any easier to make this look the way that you want it. So I'm just going to, we do not want bold, so I'm going to uncheck that box. Let's see. We're going to type in our quote. So let's start with, here's what the quote was. But see how this is sentence case? We want to make it all uppercase. So what you can do is just highlight the entire text box and then come over here to this at the top where it says uppercase. And I'm just gonna click that and it's going to turn this entire section uppercase. Now I don't really like this font. It seems to be a little too bold. So let's find something a little smaller. I don't like that one either. Let's see. We need something pretty thin. It's almost Futura. I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad about it. Let's leave that there. So here, we're gonna drag this over here to where that quote is on the Vogue inspiration cover. And then we're gonna use the same font. So I'm just gonna click on this quote here, copy and paste. I'm going to drag it to make it bigger. Let's make sure I spell her name right. You know what, I still don't really love this. I feel like it's, oh, that's better. Okay, not bold is better. Okay, then we're going to place this directly under there. And Canva has these smart guides whenever you drag something or resize, so that makes it really helpful for spacing. So now we have her name, but we need to make this two lines. So I'm just going to click the middle border box here and I'm going to shorten this up. I also want it to be right justified so I'm going to come up here to the alignment, click until I get that to the right, there it is. And this spacing is a little bit too much so we're gonna click here for spacing and we're gonna shorten up the slider bar here until it's closer together so I like that. And then we're gonna copy paste again because we're gonna put the name of the story, which is starts, starts over, and we're going to slide it again to make it a little smaller. Drag that over here. You can see that smart guide in the purple. 
and this is a little bit more bold. So I'm gonna bold this one. You can click there or Command B on your keyboard. Let's see if I like that. Do I like that? This needs to be smaller. Let's maybe shorten this up. Again, I just dragged between the two text boxes here and that smart guide told me it was evenly spaced between the two. Okay, so we're okay with that. So now we're gonna do this next headline. Again, it's the same kind of font here, so we're just gonna do some copying and pasting. So it says, Up in Arms, Fashion Show of Strength. So let's go back over here to our document. We're going to take this starts over copy and paste it right underneath up in arms i think that's a little bit bigger and then we're going to come back copy paste again underneath fashion's show of strength and we're going to take this middle here and slide it out because I do believe it is two lines. So let's move up to the bottom line. No, that's got to be bold, but let's make that a little smaller. I'm just going to use my arrows here to move that up. So that is done. And now we're going to come down here and do this headline down here. Vogue's covers are very often very, very simple. Sometimes they'll just have a person's name across the center here, like this one. Very simple cover. So do not be afraid to make your covers simple. Sometimes that is best. Okay, let's come down here. And I'm going to copy and paste the I was not okay. I'm going to drag it down here. And I'm going to left align that. I'm going to click the alignment box here until I get it left aligned. That says... Okay, we're going to type that headline out. And then we're going to shorten this up. Which says on the record is on the second line and we're going to highlight come to spacing shorten up the spacing there. The designer on his path forward. So I'm going to copy fashion's show of strength here copy paste drag it underneath of that alignment again. The designer on his path forward. If I could type. And that looks a little wonky. So we're just going to highlight, get the spacing correct, the alignment correct, left justified. Here we go. We have his path forward on the bottom. So I'm just going to hit return here to put that on the bottom. make that spacing a little wider. I'm going to use my arrow keys to move that up. Okay, and those are our headlines. So now you can play around with the colors. Like I'm thinking white here is maybe just a little bit boring. So, you know, maybe you want to make Kara stand out so we could just highlight. Maybe we want to make that yellow. So this is our finished cover. If you got value from today's video, I would love for you to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments which magazine cover style you want me to design next. Don't forget to check out the links in the description box to grab your free set of 10 magazine cover templates and for your personal invitation into the Editor Academy. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.